Shalom, Israel, most high in Christ. Bless. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of IUIC Contradict This. All right? To my right. Officer Yakub. All praises to the most high. We're going to open up with Matthew, the eighth chapter. Okay? Today we're going to discuss the discussion between the centurion and Christ. All right? Uh, the topic today is the centurion contradiction. Um, of course, those of you who've been tuning in, uh, we've been going over different so-called contradictions in the Bible. And there's no contradictions. It's just mainly confusion and a lack of study. All right? Let's go with Matthew 8, and let's start at verse 5. The book of Matthew, chapter 8 and verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, mm -hmm. and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy. So in Matthew's chapter 8, this is where they're saying that the contradiction comes in. Because in Matthew chapter 8 and verse 5, it says the centurion came to Christ beseeching him. And what did he say? My servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, mm -hmm. grievously tormented. Mm -hmm. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. Mm -hmm. The centurion answered and said, Lord. I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. Come on. But speak the word only, mm -hmm. and my servant shall be healed. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Go ahead. For I am a man under authority. I am a man under authority. He was a centurion, right? Remember, the centurions were in charge of a hundred soldiers. That's a, a hundred army, right? A hundred soldiers. Go ahead. Having soldiers under me. Mm-hmm. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. So the centurion would tell soldiers, go, and he goeth. So go do this for me, go do that for me, and they'll do it, because they were under him. Go ahead. And to another, come, and he cometh. Come on. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. Go ahead. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, mm -hmm. and said to them that followed, Go ahead. Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. So Christ said, I have found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Now let's go to Luke. Let's go to Luke. Let's get the account in Luke chapter 7. We're going to start at verse 1. This is where people say, oh, there's a contradiction. The Bible's not real. And the people will find the stupidest things yeah. to say the scriptures ain't real. But they forgot about Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. That came to pass. Right. They forgot about Luke 21. That came to pass. Right. Joel, the third chapter. All of these things. Okay, go ahead. The book of Luke, chapter 7 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now, when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, mm -hmm. he entered into Cap Capernaum, and a certain centurion's servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. Go ahead. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, mm -hmm. beseeching him that he, would, that he would come and heal his servant. So it says, and when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him, the elders of the Jews, go ahead, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. That he would come and heal his servant. Go ahead. And when they, and when they came to Jesus. The they that came to Jesus over here in the account with Luke is making reference to those elders of the Jews. Read. They besought him instantly, mm -hmm. saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. Go ahead. For he loveth our nation. And he hath built us a synagogue. Because he had money. He was a centurion. He wasn't broke. Go ahead. Then Jesus went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, mm -hmm. saying unto him. So now the centurion sent friends to him. Go ahead. Saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Read on. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee. Mm -hmm. But say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. Go ahead. For I also am a man set under authority, mm -hmm. having under me soldiers. Mm -hmm. And I say unto one, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. Mm -hmm. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. So these same, the same servant that he's saying, go and do this and do that, are the same friends that we're reading about in verse 6. It says, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself. Now, when you go back to verse 8, read verse 8 again. Verse 8. 
For I also am a man set under authority, mm -hmm. having under me soldiers. And I say unto one, mm -hmm. go, and he goeth. Mm -hmm. And to another, come, and he cometh. Mm -hmm. And to my servant. And to my servant, the same friends that you read about in verse 6. Uh -huh. Do this, and he doeth it. Uh -huh. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, mm -hmm. and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, mm -hmm. I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. So the answer is right there in the passage. The answer is right there. Now go back to Matthew 8. Because Matthew 8 is saying the same thing. Matthew 8 says the same thing. 5 through 10, you just got to know how to put the precepts together. All right, go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 8 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, mm -hmm. There came unto him a centurion, mm -hmm. beseeching him, mm -hmm. and saying, Lord. So they say, oh, well, over here says the centurion. But it's the same thing with his friends going to him, because it's the same commandment that he gave his friends. Right. There's an old saying. There's an old Quaker English saying. It says, what one does by another, one does by themselves. If I tell, if I tell Officer Yaqub, hey, go get me a bottle of water, and then you go to a brother and say, Hey, uh, let me get a bottle of water for Captain Isaac. You come back and bring me the bottle. The brother might be say, hey, Captain Isaac just came and got some water. Right. It's the same thing. Right. There's no difference. Right. But because you hate law, you hate order, you hate the Bible, you hate God, now there's a contradiction in the Bible. Right. When the contradiction is in your mind. That's All right, read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 8 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. And saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, mm -hmm. grievously tormented. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come and uh, cometh under my roof. So who said that when you read Luke? His friends said that, the right. elders and in his servants, his friends. Okay, read. But speak the word only, mm -hmm. and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, mm -hmm. having soldiers under me. Mm -hmm. And I say to this man, go, and he goes. To goeth. this man, go to Christ. Go ahead. And to another, come, and he cometh. Go ahead. And to my servant. And to my servant, those same friends we read about in Luke, the seventh chapter. Go ahead. Do this, mm -hmm. and he doeth it. Do this. Go unto Christ and tell him I need a blessing. The answers are right there. You got to learn how to put the puzzle together, put things together. Get me 2 Samuel now. 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 18, because I said what one does by another, one does by oneself. Go ahead. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 18. Mm -hmm. Now then, do it. For the Lord hath spoken now, of... Now then what? Do it. Mm -hmm. For the Lord hath spoken of David, mm -hmm. saying, by the hand of my servant David, mm -hmm. I will save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistine. Now it says, God says, by the hand of his servant David. Did David go and kill all the Palestinians, all the Philistines by himself? No, he had servants. He had men. He had soldiers under him, right. just like the centurion had. Okay, so it's, same, it's saying the same thing. It's saying the same exact thing that we read in the book of Matthews and in the book of Luke. All right, so Lord willing, y'all got some edification on that. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.